a new city mm. and we need to deploy new technologies for that you will need data professionals they want to attract as many tourist as they can mm. and data science and analytics plays a significant role in that as well it's not tough to get into it because data science and analytics is a growing industry as of mm. now the demand of the right certified candidate as of now is more no. as compared to the supply, supply. i mean yeah the average package of data scientist over here is i guess 20000 dirham per month per month so that is approximately 4 lakhs i was reading an article where there was that they have taken a oath that they will there will be a data based governance mm. right in fact at the royal level as well mm. Welcome to our podcast series in UAE. So, guys, today we will be discussing in and out about data science and analytics, and most importantly, what data industry has to do with the tourism in Dubai, and not only in Dubai but in whole UAE. So, Rakshad, my first question to you is that we know tourism industry in Dubai has gone from this level to this level in the recent past. But what exactly data science and analytics has to do with this? Yeah. So, first of all, thank you, Saksham, for having me on this podcast. so uh, we all know that you know dubai is a developed city right. right and major part of their profit comes from oil and gas production right but they know that they are going to run out of oil mm. in some time right and hence they right. are now investing in multiple industries whether mm. it is it industries whether they are logistic industries and tourism industry right so dubai government is investing heavily in tourism because they want and they are right now the global tourism capital right mm. and they want to invest heavily in it in future as well they want to attract as many tourist as they can mm. and data science and analytics plays a significant role in that as well right mm. so it's a data driven tourism industry as well mm. now to give you a few examples for example you know price optimization mm. right so they will analyze a lot of data to find out what can be the right price point mm. for example of burj khalifa mm. right so that we can maintain the premium quality of mm. that and at the same time we can attract maximum tourists so that mm. we can again uh, you know increase the profits Profit. it is also used for revenue forecast mm. it is also used for predicting how many tourists are going to come let's say next month or mm. next year or at any point of time mm. so that we can very well plan it as well right and you know we analyze the descriptive data as in mm. the historic data mm. to understand which campaign mm. of ours mm. was successful as far as tourist industry is concerned mm. right for example was the last minute sale mm. was effective as compared to early 50% discount mm. right right and then we also use data to analyze which type of trip is the most prevalent mm. for example is it the business trip is it the family vacation trip accordingly plan yeah so that we can personalize mm, the experience and right, again right, that is dependent sense. upon data mm. and if i talk about price optimization that is not only just in let's say you know dubai mm. so the airline industries or the hotel industry they also use price optimization dynamic pricing mm. so you see when the demand will increase mm. the price of their product for example airline or hotels room mm. they will also increase right mm. so that they know you are going to buy mm. for sure mm. but they want to find the optimal price, price right it is not too high not too high but so that nobody purchases yeah that definitely yeah. but definitely it is higher than their normal, normal price right mm. so i mean yeah data analytics is directly or indirectly playing a significant role in their mm. tourism industry i can it makes sense so we can see that uh, data is playing a heavy role in the tourism industry but i can see the other other industries uh, growing as well in uae i can see the logistic industry i can see the it industry so tell me what data has to do with these industries as well yeah i mean it's not just about 
tourism right mm. so data analytics also plays a very important role in their transport management mm. so you must have visited dubai right you are mm. in dubai right now and there is minimal traffic congestion there is mm. minimal traffic jams mm-hmm. right and then there are almost no speed breakers mm. over here so the traffic mobility and traffic management is very good that is again dependent upon data how right so they are collecting census data in mm. mass Mm. Uh, of tourist as well as citizens mm. and then they are analyzing their data they are mapping all the roads and then they are creating what if scenarios mm. what if next month mm. the inflow of tourist increased by 100% mm. how are we going to manage that manage traffic mm. right? and where will be the traffic flow mm. they are also trying to understand the tourist pattern for mm. example they went to burj khalifa and then they are going to let's say palm jumeirah mm. then they are going to future of museum mm. right or museum of future so what is the flow of the tourist mm. right so what should be the path that path. the tourist is taking mm. and then again working upon that mm. and i remember last year in october 2021 the dubai government also ran a initiative which was motion dubai in motion dubai in right? motion dubai in motion so where they vowed upon uh leveraging the data science and analytics technologies to their transport so that they can have better mobility they can have sustainable uh, transport mm. and a greener transport as well mm. so again they are dependent upon data for that as well mm, makes sense makes sense so like uh, data has to uh, do something with each and every industry with the demand of data professionals so we can see the average packages will be in- increased in ue as well i mean yeah the average package of data scientist over here is i guess 20000 dirham per month per month so that is approximately 4 lakhs Yeah, uh, four lakhs in Indian rupees. Four lakh thirty thousand or okay. twenty thousand in Indian rupees. Mm. So yeah, I mean there is high tech companies over here as well. We have seen the offices of Google, right? Facebook, Oracle, in fact, TCS. So yeah, I mean data is also getting involved in government policies. Mm. Government are also taking data driven decisions mm. right at the top level. Mm. They are relying on data, right? So they are aggressively hiring data. not just in tourism or transport or governance mm. but also in the oil sector oil as well sector as well we know that you know dubai is in middle east and mm. over here major chunk is oil and gas production mm. right and over here one of the major company for example royal dutch shell mm. right that's a kind of major company which is involved in the oil and production. gas mm. industry mm. got it they are hiring data professionals very very actively Achha. you can check on nokri you can mm. check on linkedin mm. got it you can check on our own portal as well which mm. is jobaj so what data industry has to do with oil and gas yeah so what happens over here is first of all they are trying to understand the seismic data seismic data what Ses- exactly is seismic data so in layman terms seismic data so we send signals right and then signals when they hit the ground huh. they reflect back okay so we track what is the distance that we have for distance. example we are in ocean right mm. then we will send some signals it will go down it will hit the bottom mm. it will get back mm. so we can map we can 2d we can create 2d 3d or in fact 4d maps mm. of the surface mm. beneath ocean right and then that helps very much in predicting where we should be our next target mm. right where we should be drilling next mm. where we have the maximum probability of finding oil, oil right so that is again dependent upon the seismic data mm. as well mm. right so that data is collected in huge numbers mm. all right and apart from that you know it is also used in equipment maintenance because mm. the equipments that we have for drilling or mm. to extract the oil are very very expensive mm. and any downtime to this equipment mm. will cost a lot to the company exactly so sensors are deployed mm. to these equipment for mm. example it can be temperature sensor it can be pressure sensors humidity sensors and we are getting data in microseconds microseconds so you can just imagine how many rows of data mm. or how much data we are getting from that mm. right that's the big data mm. and you cannot find patterns very easily mm. so you need to analyze that data right to make sure that those machines are running efficient you have to find the right combination of all the parameters, parameters. and then you have to suggest that okay in under these conditions if mm. you will operate this machine it is going to run at best, best. and there will be minimal downtime. downtime and if you have minimal downtime you are increasing the production capacity you are increasing the efficiency mm. extracting more oil and mm. hence increasing the profits, profits right? so this is how data science and analytics is directly, directly. or indirectly related 
to these industries hmm. right so data exploiting the data seems little tough as you said it's very hard to find the pattern but ultimately if you do it it will save billions of dollar to the company later on and that's why they are willing to pay high pay packages to the data professionals yeah i mean i think data has still not peaked yet hmm. right it is it is just in the starting stage because as we move forward companies or you know we as users are going to generate more and more data, more data. for example with the advent of meta hmm. once meta get deployed we will become addicted to that and then we will be staying on the digital platform we will be generating more data more data, more data is generated more accurate our models become for mm. example we have regression models which helps in predicting the outcome right mm. they will become more and more accurate so data is kind of a fuel mm. or is the food of these models mm. right Makes companies sense. want to generate more data they okay. will generate more data because they want to get the accurate outcome accurate outcome right? now companies are also shifting from intuition based mm. decisions or uh, let's say experience based decisions to data driven data driven decisions right mm-hmm. because they are highly accurate mm. so one more question rashid so you mean to say as you said earlier that uh, the dubai government is, is spending so much on the uh, on hiring data professionals studying data and accordingly taking the decisions so you mean to say the government over here has that much vision that they are using such high technology they are using data professionals to uh, and ask the experience of the uh, tourism industry yeah that's right I, i believe that the government over here is very proactive in terms of deploying the right technology mm. right and it's not just about dubai government hiring professionals right i have not heard of that but that they have consultancy firms consultancy or it yeah. for example i have a consultancy firm i am consulting the dubai government, dubai government. this is how you should mm. go forward but i am relying on data, data. right on what basis will i take decisions mm. right because it's a new city and mm. we need to deploy new technologies for that you will need data professionals correct we would need data and we would need to handle data manage data clean data model visualize and then present the insights to them as well mm. and those insights should be accurate mm. right then only they will reinvest, reinvest. in data makes sense Got makes it? sense so uh, dubai government may not be di- directly hiring the professionals but they are hiring the consultants big consulting firms and and indirectly they are hiring the data professionals at higher packages yeah that's right i mean dubai government is also uh, i think th- i was reading an article where there was that they have taken a oath that they will there will be a data based governance mm. right in fact at the royal level as well mm. whatever decisions they will take will be based upon data right so that they can track it they can predict the outcome they can predict the for- they can uh, you know uh, predict the demand mm. and accurately take the decisions based upon that so yeah i mean data science or data analytics is one industry which has penetrated across almost all the industries, all the industries. and no other no industry let it be tourism transport it logistics sales marketing logistics mm. right no industry is untouched by data science and analytics and i strongly believe that it has to peak yet mm. it has not peaked yet right it it's not be- even close yeah so i think it uh, the the future of this industry is bright mm. and uh, and yeah i mean dubai is also investing heavily in it so to summarize what you said the whole conversation uh, i understood that data is penetrating each and every industry be it marketing sales logistic as you said it's not only about the tourism industry so any economy which is growing we know that india is also growing at a rapid pace and it will be in the top 3 economies by 2030 right so we all have heard of, heard of it so any economy which is growing that means all the industries supporting that will be growing it logistic and everything so there will be demand for data professionals in each and every industry there might be less uh, use of in some industry but definitely the the use will be there right yeah, yeah. so i mean you can see that by 2030 the road and transportation authority of dubai has taken has a vision that 25% of their vehicles will be autonomous mm. they will be self driven mm. right so how is that possible again we have algorithm in place but that algorithm is also based upon data right we are mm. feeding some data we are feeding sensor data so that we can have the right track the car is moving in the right direction mm. so yeah i believe that you know analytics has penetrated every domain almost every domain and uh, the demand is not uh, going to decrease any time soon as of now i believe i personally believe it has not peaked it is not even close mm. right the demand is going to increase as more and more companies will become data literate mm. 
they will see other companies success for mm. example amazon success mm. microsoft success mm. netflix success netflix success right mm. so they will feel that fomo mm. and once they see that results mm. they will also deploy it almost I, I, but however i believe almost all the companies are working on it any mm. mid limit level to large scale company mm. is working on data science and analytics having a very strong infrastructure of data science and analytics right and they are they are hiring professionals as well mm. and once they see the results there will be more investment, investment. coming up mm. in yeah. the data industry that's right makes sense makes sense so we can see as we know we were discussing earlier that uh, 90% of the population here in uae are the immigrants right so they need skilled labor to support this ecosystem which we are trying to build right so more and more demand will be created uh, it will be in high number in uae but the data demand the data professionals demand will be created across the globe any economy which is trying to do something better which is trying to do something good with the technology they will hire the data professionals right so any concluding words for our audience like how they should proceed in data i mean yeah, if you are interested in building your career in data science and analytics right so there are few skills that you need to master first of all uh, you should learn about uh, let's say sql first of all uh, python pandas power bi tableau excel as well apart from that you should have or you should develop a business acumen oh. how to get business insights from that data but that will come with experience, experience. right and then of course you should have decent presentation skills mm. but yeah these are the bare minimum skills that will uh, that you will require to get into this domain and but yeah i mean i believe that it's not tough to get into it because data science and analytics is a growing industry as of mm. now the demand of the right certified candidate as of now is more no. as compared to the supply. supply especially you can take an example of dubai as you said that 90% are immigrant mm. right it is inviting application come over here work mm. you just need to be skilled right dubai is attracting global talent right yeah. now that makes sense so thank you thank you so much for the insight sakshit we got to know so much about the data and most importantly how data analytics and science being used in all the industries and most importantly tourism industry here in dubai uh, i read somewhere that major part of the economy major part of the gdp which dubai is getting right now is from the tourism industry and still uh, they want to grow more and they are investing heavily in data so guys there uh, there are abundance of opportunities you just have to uh, find the right way you just need to have the right skill and you have to find a mentor that can help you out to get into the data industry and we have a great mentor in front of us so thank you so much rakshit we will see you in another podcast thank you thank you so much guys Thank you.